race is the elimination race, and this is where one rider is taken out of the string every lap once the gun goes. There's Consoni. Simon Sanyok of Poland. Behind him, Jan Willem van Schip, silver medalist in the points race already during this week. Very demanding this discipline, Evo Oliveira. There's Voli Karkis. Behind him is the Belarusian, that's Raman Shishku. And the Frenchman, there he is, the defending champion, Benjamin Thomas. All concentration before we get underway. Underway in the elimination race, one lap neutralized. One going off very, very fast, considering it's neutralized. And it was Oliveira who stretched the race out right from the start. And everyone now trying to get themselves organized. There's a shot of Claudia Imhoff in the colors of Switzerland. And a few riders grappling at the back here. They've been caught out by the pace of the start of this race. And right to the back is the rider from the Czech Republic, Nicholas Petrula. And this time, going to be one rider eliminated. Looks like Nicholas Petrula has been eliminated from the race. Felix English in some difficulty at the back of the group in the green. Felix English trying to get his way back and overtake a rider, but he may well be saying goodbye to this uh, Omnium race, but one rider at the back then was eliminated. Wow. Oliveira can't believe it. 3-2-9, Oliveira. He can't believe it. He has perhaps ruined his chance of winning this Omnium now. You have to be consistent in every single race, and Oliveira has just lost it. The pace is very, very high in here. Felix English is eliminated. Well, he'll be really disappointed with that as well. So on the front then, it's the Danish rider, the rider who's dominated the World Cups, Nicholas Larsson. How tight it is in here for bumping and barging. So much at stake in this championship. But it's Larsson who's riding a clever race so far. And that time, who was eliminated? The Canadian rider, Adrian Carvis, now is eliminated from the race. Let's take a look then. There's a couple of riders in difficulty at the back. And there's a sprint going on. And it looks like Hong Kong, China in trouble but now eliminated it is hong kong china wearing number 22. lung chung wing is taken out of the action so the riders consoni now could really benefit because Oliveira is going to score hardly any points uh, in this contest you take 40 points for a win 38 for second 36 for third and so on. So the riders who are queuing up behind 
will now really benefit. So, eliminated that time was uh, Thomas Conte of Argentina. He's been eliminated. So quick, this race. And now, trying to get themselves out of trouble. New riders trying to sprint through. And Volley Karkis now is in trouble at the back of this group of riders. Can he find his way through? Volley Karkis looking for any sort of route that he can. Oh, that was tight. Looked to me like Consoni or Germany. So it was. It was the German rider, Maximilian Bayer. Oh, I don't know. That was close, wasn't it? Maximilian Bayer just... Simone Consoni was almost out as well, and that would be a surprise because he's at the top of the leaderboard right now. Riders moving up on the outside, trying to get out of trouble. You can't go on the blue either, so you've got to stay on the track. Messi in there. 21. Volokarkis has been eliminated from the action. Volley carcasses removed from the race. Moving up then. Right up. Oh, Daniel Holloway almost touched wheels with another rider then. The rider from the United States of America almost crashed then. That was very, very tight indeed, but it's helped him out. Oh, it's tight in there. Woof. And Daniel Holloway of United States of America has been eliminated. He's been taken out. I must say, he almost crashed and just righted the bike. That was an unusual decision. Now riders in trouble at the back. And it's the British rider who has been eliminated now, Oliver Woods. Silver medalist in the World Cup in Milton. And right to the back of the group then, the New Zealand rider, who is in a little bit of difficulty. This is Campbell Stewart in the black. He's had a stay of execution a few times now. And he's coming up now to see whether he can get past, and he does. Whoa, it's the Spanish rider. And that's Albert Torres, the Belgium, bronze medalist. Belgium. Well, Belgium have made a decision. Oh, a huge crash. Huge crash out of camera shot. Belgium have been eliminated. Lindsay de Vilda. And there's been a big crash. And it is the Japanese rider who's hit the deck right from the top of the banking. Ilya Hashimoto touched the wheel of the Belgian. How did Nicholas Larson avoid him? Wow. Big touch of wheels. Hashimoto goes up. Watch Larson. He was on the wall. Larson rides the wall almost. Massive crash by Hashimoto. The race neutralized at the moment. Hashimoto puts his visor back on. And he's going to rejoin the race. That was a huge fall from Hashimoto. Wow. Hashimoto is going to rejoin. Back into the racing. And really gets a big greet from the crowd then. Torres at the back. So the comma says the judge is just calming things down a little bit. There is a huge amount at stake in this elimination race, and it's so compact in here. Riders riding closer than we see them in the World Cups. Everyone is just flat out, full on trying to win this race. On the front, Claudio Imhoff, looking pretty strong at this moment in time for Switzerland. So the rankings are moving around a lot, but Simone Consoni of Italy is the rider who's really benefiting here. 
who's going to be eliminated this time. The Japanese riders in trouble. Nicholas Larson also in difficulty at the back, but Hashimoto is eliminated that time. Silver medalist in the World Cup in Santiago, but the crowd give him a big cheer. And Sony knows that this is his big chance. He's right on the front now in the colours of Italy. And on the back of the group, Jan Willem van Schip is in trouble now. So is Nicholas Larson. Larson is going to get eliminated. Oh, very tight. Looks like the Mexican rider. Mexico, Mexico, and it's Ignacio Prado who is taken out of the action right at the last minute on the inside. If you'd like to tweet at UCI underscore track. In difficulty again, Nicholas Larson at the back. Who's going to be eliminated that time? I think it was Torres of Spain. Spain, Torres is eliminated. Oh, but Torres, a bronze medalist previously. Look how tight that was. So Spain are removed from the action. Chris Larson is struggling a little bit in here compared to how he normally looks in the World Cups for Denmark. I would have said he was one of the top three favourites in this contest. Coming up to the next lap, and Larson is unable to go with the moves. So Larson is eliminated for Denmark. He won the World Cup in Pruskov in Poland. He won Milton. He was silver medalist in Manchester, but may have overcooked it for the World Championships. So, at the back is Simon Sanyok of Poland. Claudio Imhoff riding a really strong elimination race. Consoni is as well. Consoni leaning on Imhoff and being eliminated that time. Ooh, tight. Russia. Russia. Mamis Stash is taken out of the race. Down then to the last few riders. Eight riders left. We go down to the last two. Lovely onboard camera shot there. On the front is Benjamin Thomas, the world champion. He won the World Cup in Manchester. And it is the New Zealander, I think, who was eliminated that time. Campbell Stewart. New Zealand. New Zealand is Stewart Campbell. Simone Consoni on the back. How many more points can he get? And an attack again of Claudio Imhoff of Switzerland, European Championship medalist. And it is the Frenchman who is removed from the action. That's Benjamin Thomas. Benjamin Thomas is removed and he is the defending champion. Still down in about 10th place at this moment in time. Down to the last six riders now. And Jan Willem van Schip is being urged on by the crowd. Consoni is looking for a little gap. Everyone diving all over the place. Consoni trying to sprint against the Ukrainian. And I think he might just have got through. I don't know. The Italian, nope, he's eliminated. In fact, the Belarusian is eliminated. Roman Shishku. Yep, the Belarusian is taken out of the race. Down to the last five. And it is this time the Ukrainian rider. Roman Gladish this time, his legs give out. Down to the last four. Jan Villavanshik, Claudio Imhoff, Simon Sanyok and Simone Consoni.
Big move by Consoni. This is Consoni's chance to go to the top of the leaderboard with a big advantage. Consoni leading out. Imhoff trying to get on terms with Simon Sanyo. And it's going to be tight. Oh, what a sprint. Oh. Imhoff has uh, removed there for Switzerland. Down to the last three. Jan Willem van der Schip. In the colours of the Netherlands, Consoni's legs have given out. So Consoni is removed this time. And it's going to come down to Van Schip and Sanyok. And Sanyok is a very good sprinter. So the Italian is removed. They do another lap. And then the bell will sound. Let's see what happens here then. Jan Willem van Schip is fifth overall in the uh, standings. And it's a big sprint. Sanyok is going for it. Simon Sanyok heading now towards the victory. Sanyok's going to take it. Sanyok does. A great ride by Simon Sanyok of uh, the Polish squad. Got the crowd on their feet anyway, Jan Willem van Schip. And it means the standings will just change around a little bit. So the standings now will have completely altered because Ivo Oliveira was up at the top of the leaderboard with Consoni. And I think Consoni will be the leader, Sanyok will be second, Jan Willem van Schip will be in third place. Simon Sanyok, though, is a very good Omnium rider. Consoni still has the lead, equal on points. Here we go, Consoni is the leader, with Sanyok in second, then Van Schip and all the other riders queuing up behind to try and take medals. Remember, it comes down to the points race, and there are lots of points on offer. Nicholas Larson, I think, will be the most disappointed with his performance. He's been dominant in the World Cups, but here he's not being able to translate that into a world title.